Ibikunia Musum in its first 300 days has given women the opportunity to make their impact felt by according them proper representation in all affairs of the state. The state can boast of 35% involvement of women in its administrative affairs as some key offices are occupied by women. The state chief judge is a woman. The immediate past and the new state head of service are both women. Also, the likes of the State Ministry of Budget and Planning, that of Finance, and of course, that of Women Affairs are all headed by capable women. Furthermore, quite a number of the present administration's special advisors and special assistants are women. Also, seven out of the recently inaugurated 20 new permanent secretaries in Ogun State are women. Governor Amusung ensures that whenever there is a vacancy and if a woman is next in line and has the capacity, she is not denied the opportunity. Also, various programs geared towards uplifting women in the state have been embarked upon by the present administration through the Ministry of Women Affairs in collaboration with the Office of the First Lady. Many lives have been impacted, especially in the area of women empowerment and catering for vulnerable groups. A 100 million naira soft loan has been made available to women in business, while a bill of equal opportunity has been submitted to the Ogun State House of Assembly. Another bold step taken in this direction was the inauguration of a women forum to promote and protect the rights of women folk in Ogun State. The forum, called Ogun State Women Advancement Forum or WAFO, comprises 300 women with at least one from each of the 236 wards of the state. These women are expected to be links between the government and the people, even as they represent their local governments. To further empower these women, a special workshop has been organized for them, aimed at ensuring that the Ogun State woman is enlightened to play her role properly in present-day society. Through the Uplifting the Aged program of the First Lady of Ogun State, the Ministry of Women Affairs has also reached out to the aged by organizing a forum for them to receive free medical checkups and get enlightened about how to maintain good health. Besides the aged, the children of Ugun State have also been receiving attention. In reaching out to children, the Ministry of Women Affairs organized the first quarterly meeting with the third set of the Ogun State Children's Parliament sworn in in 2011. I want to charge you once again that you have responsibility, you have a role to play. Bent on turning around the fortunes of the Gateway State, the Governor Amusen-led administration has entered into partnership with the Bank of Industry, signing two memoranda of understanding to provide a 1 billion naira soft loan scheme for small and medium scale industries. This is in addition to another 750 million naira made available by the Bank of Industry to give as loans to willing investors when an enabling environment is created through industrial parks. I'm going to step further by meeting with the chairman of local governments so that they can sensitize their people. And our own team too, I've gone to about 15 local governments to talk to them on how they can assess that. And I will say that people don't know that they have the access to it. What you need to do is to come to the ministry, you have questionnaires that will be filled, you answer those questionnaires, then you give us your business plans. They look at it, and, but you must come under an umbrella of either cooperative society, members of chambers of commerce, NASIMA, we have all of them. I mean, I'm happy to tell you that presently we've sent in about 10 associations, cooperatives, to Bank of Industry. More has been done in the first 300 days of this administration towards promoting economic transactions in Ogun State. 
Renovations have started at Obalikpede Market in Abeokuta and Itaosun Market in Ijebode. The project, which is still at its first stage, includes renovation of 46 market toilets, replacement and repair of roofs, as well as construction of boreholes. The first 300 days of Senator Ibikuni Amosun's administration has also seen a flurry of activities in the manufacturing sector as the number of companies being opened in Ogun State has continued to be on the increase. New plants that have sprung up since the beginning of the present administration include Mayan Baker's pharmaceutical plant in Ota, Lafarge Wapco's 2.5 million metric ton cement company at Ewekoro, and the Dangote Group's 6 million metric ton cement factory in Ibese local government area. These new companies are in addition to the numerous factories already existing in Ogun State. Industrialization itself also brings development to a state. It modernizes the state, it brings development because, for example, at Dangote uh, uh, Ibeshi Cement Factory, as they've commenced operation now, the, the roads around the area, they will cooperate with the government to make sure that those roads are, or they are good and they are well maintained. What this means is that there will be greater job opportunities for citizens, more development in benefiting communities and its environment, as well as the thriving of the economy of Ogun State, as this is bound to open up more windows of opportunity for related investment. For a leader with so much to offer his people, this is just the beginning. Though trust can be a big burden, the citizens of Ogun State have no reason to doubt the trust they have placed in Governor Ibikunle Amosun, as he has continually demonstrated that he is a man that can indeed be trusted to deliver on the promises he made to the people of the state 300 days ago. We want to consider that, who, that people just unknowingly, they will just say, wait a minute, what is happening? We have schools around. We have all roads start. We have electricity everywhere. We have water running. We have our health care facilities. Very, very qualitative one. Very efficient one. They know that, oh, look at it. Our, road, our environment is clean. No refuse dumps. No heaps of refuse. Look at the beauty creation that is going on. It's a conscious thing. That is what governance is all about. I look at, I try to, I, I envision that in four years I want to see a good state that would say we want people that is not employed come out and it will be difficult for us to have 5,000 people saying that we don't have jobs. Not when we said we want 10,000 and about 60,000 coming out to say they do not have jobs. That is the, that is the good state of my dream in the next four years. The mission to rebuild is fully in motion. Omogun. Ishaya 